lot of things here at Hobbiton, so we're going to be playing you guys two our clips to enjoy as we make our way to the movie set. Here's the first one. Set. It's great when you're making a movie, everything's so temporary. Film survivors, but the sets and the costumes and the props that you make, that they all just get thrown away. And so I'm delighted that Hobson has managed to survive, and I'm really pleased that you're taking the time to visit it, and I hope that you enjoy yourself. It's been years ago that we were flying around the helicopter and found the Alexander Farm from the air, and it, uh, for some reason from the air it looked right, and when we landed it was absolutely perfect, as I'm sure you'll see for yourselves. So thank you very much to the Alexander family for their brilliant support over the years and especially to Russell um, who has been the greatest business partner to have and uh, as you'll see yourself doing a fantastic job making you very welcome. So thank you and enjoy yourselves. From the entire Alexander family and everyone here on set, we're thrilled to have you. Your tour starts on the journey through at 1,258 acres living sheep and beef it's these rolling green hills that attracted the location scouts way back in 1998. After the completion of filming The Lord of the Rings in 2000, the set was torn down and Hobbiton was left as little more than a sheep pit. So when Peter and his team returned to The Hobbit, they seized the opportunity to partner up and rebuild the set permanently. And it's been growing ever since. It's been an incredible journey, one we're proud to share with you today. Enjoy. Alright guys, so I mentioned before there are 500 beef on this farm. Those beef are actually contracted for a McDonald's, the Angus beef. So if you have had McDonald's here in Otter or New Zealand guys, you've probably been eating his cousin. <laughs> Jake said it's a woman. Thank you. 